Hello guys. Well, I'm happy to hear that you're excited about your next lesson. I think you're making some great progress. And I'm excited to keep going. And um, and then get to the point where we can get out on the course. Play a little golf. Alright, so uh, anyway, we uh, I thought there was more video that we did, but apparently the guy who was in charge of the video, that'd be me, uh, was uh, forgot we were so busy and we were so excited about uh, what we were doing <laughs> we forgot to shoot some video but anyway there's enough here so um, basically what excuse me basically what we were doing with Lois primarily was working on the position of the backswing because your head tended to move off the ball a great deal and the left arm was all bent this is a tough position to get back into the um, to the place where you were at address so we were trying to correct this situation here on the backswing and show you what the proper position at the top which we call P4 by the way P4 is the position at the top of the backswing position number four and um, and we got very close to this so it looked really good so um, I did, what what happened was that I ran into the picture here. Here's the way you were originally, and then I told you that you moved too far off the ball, so you moved your head back in. And um, then I went running in there, and you see what I'm doing here. All I'm doing here is keeping your head over the ball and then turning your shoulder down. Your hip is nice, your hip is up and turn. So your shoulders down, your head staying right over the ball where it was. And your shoulder turns down like that. That's good. Very, very good. Okay. Bend that knee. Left knee bends, right knee straightens. The head stays over the ball. Very, very good. Now that's starting to look good. So, from this point, uh, we then got to straighten the arm out. Straighten the arms out. So look how that's looking right there. Very good. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right there. That's it. Bingo. All right. See how nice that looks? Now here you are actually doing it, and at the very end of this, this is perfect. Look at this. We straighten this. We straighten this left arm out right at the end of this video. See that? See that straightening move right there? Watch this. See that straightening move? Watch. There. Bingo. Oops. Went all the way back to the beginning. We'll take it right to the end. Look at that. Now that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Even if it feels like you're tilting a little toward the target, you're really not. Your head is right over the ball where the ball was at address, okay? The right knee is straightened here. The right knee is straightened. The left knee the left knee has flexed like that. Okay. This is really perfect. Your head stays right in the same position where it was at address. And this left arm, most importantly, this left arm is straight. All right? You can turn the shoulder down even more. At this position, if you, as you turn your hips, you can turn your shoulders even more. That shoulder could, could be down around in here. Just remember it comes down, down into there while your head stays still. And to do that, you, you're, basically doing, you're basically doing a right uh, a left tilt at this point in the in the method I teach called stack and tilt that's the tilt that's the left tilt at the backswing and the through swing I'll show you in just a minute the the tilt goes the opposite direction so it goes from like a 20 degree tilt to the left to almost a 40 degree tilt to the right and at the same time you're turning and uh, extending extending tilting and turning all at the same time but this is really beautiful so there's your there's your that's where the ball was at address. Your head stays over the ball. Your hips turn. Your arm stays straight. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay? Now, 
with both of you then, and especially with Tom, we worked on the um, um, we worked on the impact uh, position. Whoops, what happened? Uh oh, wait, wait. We don't want that. I'll get it. Hold on here. Hold on now. Hold on. Okay. Here we are. All right. So this is what we worked on with Tom was the impact position. Now, unfortunately, I can't draw on this particular image here because it wasn't a video. I can only draw in video, but this is a still image. But you can see what happened here. After you go from this position, you come through. These arms stay straight, especially the left arm stays straight. And the, the, uh, and the hands stay out in front of the club head. This was with the impact bag. So you're shifting all your weight over to the left side here. The weight goes from the right side here to the left side over here during the swing. and But that left arm stays straight, and the hands don't flip. You see, there's a straight line in between the club head and the top of the shoulder. That's good. As soon as the hands start falling behind the club head, then it's flipping over, and we don't want that. All of the greats in the game, like, for instance, here, the greats in the game... Oops. Hold on. Wait just a second here. Dang. I gotta go find that. Okay, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. All of the greats in the game, it's being Ben Hogan. At some point past the impact position, post impact, they're all at this position. The left knee is straight, all the weight is transferred over onto the left side here, or 95% of it at least. You notice both arms are straight, straight out to the club, pointed at the target, but the head is still back over the ball, so we need this head back to where it was originally over the ball, not forward, and that requires a right tilt in this spine. So you got to tilt this further off to the further to the right. You have to tilt this to keep your head back while you're turning and trying to get to this position. So this is the ideal position after you impact the ball. After you hit the ball, you want your weight, or right at the point where you hit the ball actually, you want your weight all the way over on the left side, both arms straight, and your head is still over the position where the ball was originally. That's the position. That's the uh, what we call PA, which is the position after the impact position. So, so this is what we're going for. This is the hardest thing for guys like you to get this, is to keep these arms straight all the way through impact, because the mind wants to bend the elbows to keep the club from hitting into the ground and all this other stuff that goes through your mind that you don't even know about. It's all subconscious. But this is what we're trying to get to. Bending, tilting to the right, keeping your arms straight, tilting to the right to keep your head over where it was at the beginning, and moving all your weight over to the left side. The weight is transferred over to the left side by shifting these hips forward. So I know this is a lot of technical explanation, but this is a, it's, it's a pretty easy thing to do. You were both doing it really well when we used the um, uh, that orange club, that orange whip that I had. You're swinging back and forth. You're keeping your arms straight. We'll do, we'll do some more of that. I should have taken some video of that, but I forgot. At any rate, so we're getting there. We're past the point where we're working on just contacting the ball properly. Both of you can contact the ball. You both hit some really good shots. So um, we got to get, though, to be consistent. Consistency is the key. And the only way to maintain consistency is with these straight arms, especially the left arm. It is what determines the radius of the swing, the radius being from the center of the swing, which is right here at your Adam's apple, out to the club head. So that radius all the way through the swing has to, make, has to stay the same in order to hit the ground at the same point every time. And the way that radius stays the same is by keeping that left arm straight all the way back through the back swing, all the way down through the through swing. Okay? And not flipping the hands. Every time you flip the hands, then, of course, you're going to, the, the radius is also going to change. The radius of the swing will also change if you flip your hands. So, we're trying to, we don't want you to get 
tight and uh, rigid, but we do want to keep that left arm straight. So we'll work some more about on that, and pretty soon you're going to be hitting the ball the same all the time, and that's key. That's key to being good at this game is the consistency. Okay? All right. So I'll give you a call tomorrow, and we'll set up the next lesson. Now I have my new schedule from Dix. Okay. Bye.